it's like, wait, I don't want to lose Portia again. Right. <laughs> Do you have to? I don't know, but I just naturally, like, get super submissive. It starts to change me. Then I become the wife. I become the mother, you know, or whatever. And I still want to be me. Right, and you, you don't want to lose yourself. because yeah, I'm proud of what right. I've come. People have seen me, people have, have seen me have nothing and um, essentially build myself up and build a career and accumulate things at home, et cetera. And they can see that I could be the woman of my household on my own. But with Dennis, I can see that we'll have the team. And that's just something that, unfortunately, my ex and I couldn't get together, the team part. We may have our disagreements or whatever, but I promise you, it lasts no more than five or 10 seconds. Is that true for you too? Um. You want a baby or you want your career? Which one you want? I heard nanny. No. You gotta check that. Let me tell you what, what Did really... you hear what I just said? I heard you, okay. I need to check it. How is Dennis like Cordell? Um, um, well, you know, for me to compare Dennis to my ex-husband, I would have to go back to my father because my father is someone who you kind of get, you know, characteristics in what you like in a man. So I wanted a powerful man. I wanted a man who had authority and, you know, could lead the family and one of those manly men and et cetera. So those are qualities that my ex had that I would also say that Dennis has. I can see that he can lead this family and I can trust him to lead the family. Mm -hmm. We just have to do it as a team. And I think Dennis and I get that. Like he, he gets that. Mm -hmm. I want him to be the man of the house. Is there a point where he should be submissive to you? in other ways or no? I think that when it comes to the word submissive, I put it more on my role in the household as opposed to him. When I say submissive, a lot of people don't get it because me talking about submission has to come from my religious background. So as the wife, mm -hmm. it's kind of the role the that Bible I- Bible speaks of being submissive to your husband. To your husband. Right. But in the modern world, people take it as, oh, he's gonna tell you what to do, he's gonna control you, da 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 da. It, it will be a negative situation if you're with someone who's controlling or with someone who takes that um, submissive role as the lesser role. Because I've tried it with different men and I got abused. Mm -hmm. Because women, we give men power because, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but we are more powerful. So we give you a piece of that power and some men abuse it because they don't know how to be a man and they take it as you are lesser than them. When really, if you're being the woman of my stature and a woman of her stature, if we're being submissive, you should feel like I am the king of this house because I have a woman like Shamari, I have a woman like Portia, right. who, who is the queen. Who is the queen for exactly. me, you know? So not only will he lead me and like you and your mm -hmm. husband are, you are submissive with him and that you mm -hmm. ask him even what you want to wear. Mm -hmm. It's a submission that's given because there's a respect given as well. Mm -hmm. exactly. So we respect each other, we love each other, and yeah, some things I may ask him mm -hmm. and some things he may ask me, that's right. but we're partners and at the end of the day, he's the man of the house and I'm the woman of the house. So what is the greatest fear in all this? I know it's moving fast. We are still dealing with like relatively new couple issues and I'm pregnant. Dennis happened quickly, right? Tell us a little bit about that because you guys said I love you right away. You moved in right away. Tell us why you think that it happened that way and why that was right for you. Dennis and I happened pretty quickly because it was just pretty much meant to be. I don't really have much more of an explanation for that because right before Dennis, you know, I was still like looking for love. Mm -hmm. And then after some of those things really didn't work out for me, I decided, you know what? Maybe this is where I'm supposed to be in life. Maybe I'm just supposed to, at this moment, concentrate on family, friends, and mm -hmm. career because I knew that the next person I got with, it had to be a certain chemistry. Yes. It's not forced. The conversation is nothing. You could just really just be around them and feel at home. And that's what Dennis and I had immediately. Mm. And so I just gravitated towards it because mm. You know, I've been so protective of Portia. I've been so independent. Right. I've been doing so many things on mm -hmm. my own. I've been building things on my own. And- But you're not in a relationship by yourself. I'm not in a relationship by myself. Mm -hmm. So I have to learn how to 
let go of that, some of those things, and let and mm -hmm. trust him enough to take care of them. And trust because you guys are to going in. to be as one. Yes. Right. You can't make self-centered choices. It has to be like choices together as one. Right. So that's how it's got to be. And and and, it's, and and I did realize it takes time. So as in love as we are, as wonderful as it, we're having a child together, that trust has to be built over time. And even from when we found out we we're pregnant until now, we've grown. Shady. Did you ask if Eva, <laughs> Shady Marcel, Eva, <laughs> is shady? <laughs> when I tell you in my heart of hearts, there's not a shady bone in my body. You never said she was like the mother of the den. You said something about a mother in the modeling world. When? When we were at the gym. Show us a veteran walk. Oh, not the veteran walk. Yeah. <laughs> Show us how they used to do it. She's the mother. End of the day, when we left there, you know, good and well, I have nothing but respect for Cynthia Bailey. And Don't I didn't, that. honey, we're talking about shade. Oh, oh girl, girl, I'm done. Where's the socking? She's shady. I think she's <laughs> shady, but she don't really own her shade sometimes. Yeah. Like, you know, DJ Eva came out. She was like, I didn't, I didn't do this. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. See, I didn't do that. Right. That's not and what that you, was. No, no. She gave, she gave it to me. I, I don't want to answer that. If she would have just yeah. owned her shade, it would be nothing. Because, like, honestly, it's good shade. Portia what came in swinging that night. She did. And the thing about Portia that frustrated me a lot was that I see Portia all the time. Not to mention, she has my phone number. Not to mention, we comment on each other's Instagram every single day. To then two to have three months later, bring up at a dinner that I put together, you're hosting, that I'm trying to invite people out of the country and to bring up there like, well, you shaded Cynthia, you're a shady bug. And I'm like, what are you talking about? How am I now shady about a conversation I had with Cynthia three months ago? Are you shady for not saying anything if you thought I was so shady then? The pot was calling the kettle black because you're calling me shady while you're being hella shady. Do you think they would, if you had just been like, yeah, I shaded you, booyah, like, and that would have been it? Like, I don't, I still don't get it. It doesn't matter because to me, to be shady, like on some nastiness is to say something that is hurtful or mean that, you know what I mean? Like that's shady. I didn't think that what I said was shady. So when I was asked, was I being shady? My answer was, and still is, no. no. She may black too. She ain't black with a Q. Who do you think in this group needs a makeover? I'm gonna pass the peach. You had to answer it. Thank you, Nene, for coming to my defense, reminding Marlo that the circumference of her ass is huge. Mind you, my shade is a little bit different than the rest. Do you think it's better? I'm not like, nah, nah, nah. That's not my approach to people. You like, I catch think it. that that's like, you know, you gotta catch it. You have to be a little witty. You have to, you know, know more than monosyllabic words. And then maybe you found <laughs> it. Or, or maybe you still don't know that that was shade. So it's so frustrating in this group when they're like, you're being shady. You're like, no, no, no. When I'm being shady, you know when yeah. I'm being shady. Like, that was a funny comment. Like, that was not shade. You'll know shade because the sun goes away and it gets really dark. Ooh. Like, that's shade. I know y'all met the other day, but how did y'all get into this love fest of hosting an event together? After the Destin trip, you know. I had a good time in Destin, all in all. I think Eva, for sure, was like, so... You know, someone brought some stuff to my attention. Um, it was put out there. So what? when we were in Destin and Tanya did her big presentation, there was definitely a nice amount of shade in there that might have gotten glossed over. Mm. I caught it. I did high-low today. This is Christian Dior's, if you'll excuse me while I grab my sunglasses. Because actually, these are from Swag Boutique. And she said, these are low Swag Boutique. <laughs> Hold on, cause ain't that my store to my own swag. That's like your baby, like, wait a minute, baby. Don't <laughs> no, I own swag boutique? And she was just saying, what? You. But you know, I, she can have it. I can let her have that, cause mm -hmm. you know, it is really not that serious. It's not enough for me to like get bent out of shape. I never said that a label makes an outfit. You can do a lot with a little. You know, I want you to understand, Tanya, that I have very little tolerance for ignorance. I really got it when I heard her being like, I think she called me ignorant. And I was like, what? what? Did you just call me ignorant? Like that's, I mean, you can't just stumble over that. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. So Nene is not gonna come out and say it because it's definitely not affecting her like that, but it is irritating. So 
then you do get like a little bit of coldness and you're like. Coldness, girl, there was like those little darts going into my neck and I was and like, I was like oh my God. Hair. And I was like, this girl don't even know what she did. We all wear Lowe's, Marla wear Lowe's too. I time. love Lowe's, I yeah. wear stuff from the Goodwill consignment shop. She wears Lowe's love, too. That's and, the best. Um, it, it is a low for a girl too. It's a low for like, say you. If you compare me to Louis, design, yeah. It's a low for Tanya or for me. Yeah. But it's not a low for your everyday working woman It's at all. not. Like, be clear, it was never meant to be like, dun, 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 shady. No, I was just saying the price difference was significant enough yeah. that it was highs and lows, right? If you can't afford a $2,000 bathing suit, you can wear these sunglasses, which are not $2,000. It was really, I felt very black and white.